Seeing double, you're looking at Jetward, one of the biggest pop acts to emerge from Ireland in recent years. 20-year-old identical twins John and Edward Grimes, the two halves of Jetward, shot to fame as participants in UK singing competition X Factor. Their exceedingly confident performance in the 2009 X Factor auditions secured them a place despite Simon Cowell's objections. very good and incredibly annoying. Although they did not win, the boys went on to ink album deals with Sony and later Universal Music in early 2010. They have since had three number one hits on the Irish charts, two double platinum albums and have represented Ireland in Eurovision 2011 and 2012. In town for an autograph signing session at Boogies to promote their latest album Young Love, the duo shows us what it's like on planet Jetworld. Apparently, they have been spreading the jet word love in Singapore. This is our very, very first visit ever to Singapore. We're so excited to be here. What are we doing to spread jet word love? We've been giving loads of jet hugs, jet kisses, spending time with our fans. Yesterday, we went shopping with all the fans and we bought this huge, massive cake and we all ate it. And John bought 100 bottles of like soda and we all had like a party in the shopping yeah, centre. It's been really, really cool. We've been going around the place and we've been doing like loads of different things on radio stations and interviews. Last night, we were up, we presented a radio TV show from 7.30 to 12 o'clock talking to fans and we had a sushi party and all the fans came in and it was really, really exciting because we never did anything like that but before. It's really cool being here in Singapore. It's so awesome. And then spread the Jebbard love. When we first arrived here, we tweeted that the pop rocket had landed, a.k.a. an aeroplane. And it was like, I think it was like 500 fans in the airport and they were all going crazy. And the fans were, they learned the songs and the guitar. So we kind of were singing songs with them and it was really good. Any crazy encounters so far? Are they yes, crazy? We, we've had, they're crazy. I think one of them wants to get a tattoo, like a Jebbard tattoo. Fans are so amazing here. They're so like Jedward dedicated. They're like, oh my God, it's Jedward. We love you guys so much. They gave us like amazing cool presents, posters, letters, and they're really, really thoughtful. And they like, the thing with me and John is we've got so much fan mail from the fans that we need to like, buy an extra bag to fit it all in. And are these fans any different from the ones you have back home? Yeah. yeah. Totally different. The difference is that the fans over here are really, really good at posing in pictures. They literally know all the pose. Like. The Bubbly Brothers have earned their fans, having worked non-stop in the last three years they've been in the spotlight. Despite this, they show no signs of slowing down whatsoever. So you've been on X Factor, Eurovision, you've had your own TV show and yes. Big Brother and everything. And how do you keep the energy up? Because um, you guys always seem so cheery. I think it's because we have each other. Like The thing is that John's really positive, I'm positive, and they both come together and it makes it super positive. Yeah, it's cool because we have each other on stage. Everything we do, we always get to share the exact same experiences. So being here in Singapore, we're both sharing the same experience. Doing this interview with you, we're sharing the same experience. So yeah, we just drink loads of water, um, just do our thing. I don't know, just... Just do it. Just go for it. Yeah, like we, we, we don't really, um, if there's ever a negative atmosphere, we just kind of like come up above it and then just bring like yeah. make people happy. Like anyway, I think if we just use a lot of buzzwords like cool, awesome, crazy, yeah, awesome, yeah. yeah. Cool. Known for their gravity-defying platinum blonde hairdos, their hair was a remarkable entity on its own when they stepped up from the plane. Just how do they do it? It takes me and Edward 10, 15, or 20 minutes to do our hair. We use mousse, we use hairspray, we use a hair dryer, we use a brush, and we use our hands. The thing about it is lots of hairdressers across the world, they don't know how to do it because they they're like they always want to know, what hairspray do they use? How do they get it that way? But like it's a secret that no one knows. I mean, Edward, we're going to be coming out our own, our own hair products, Jared Hairspray, Jared Mousse, and Jared Gel. Yeah, very, very soon. And like everyone around Asia and around the world will want to get it, and it'll be huge. And so why don't you guys why don't you guys have that hair today? Okay. Today we have flat hair because we wanted to show two images, like us with flat hair, us with spiky hair. It's good to like have a different The reason why we have flat hair is like our fans know that we have spiky hair, flat hair, messy hair, loads of different types of hair, but we just want to show a different side to me and Edward. But I think it's cool because in like different interviews and that we're gonna have spiky hair as well because it's spiky hair over here in, in Asia is really, really new. 
we well, also it's spiky hair. We look like comic book heroes. We look like superheroes, like Jedward to the rescue. Yeah, and we're live in concert. We always have spiky hair because having flat hair, um, the hair is too close to your eyes. And the hairspray will dribble into your eyes, and you're like, ah, oh, my eyes. Stay tuned for our next clip where we talk to Jedward about Eurovision 2012, their new album, and dealing with negative publicity.